Okay, uh, how do you feel the, the debate represented uh, the three parties that were chosen to debate? I think the level of analysis probably could have been a little bit deeper, but not knowing what the questions were ahead of time, only knowing brief subject areas, and having people who weren't officially However, I think everyone actually did a really good job. I think we got all of the key points out. I think every party got the key points out. And I think there was pretty good, um, what do you call it, engagement with the issues that everyone brought up. I, I think it was just great that like libertarians are finally being recognized and represented. You know, this doesn't happen anymore, and uh, or it hasn't happened, and now it's you know, hopefully we're making headway. All right, here's a question I was curious about. What did you guys think about the fact that they, uh, both sides were, uh, in their closing statements, uh, spent lots of time talking about the libertarian candidates? They feel threatened by us. People in positions of power always feel threatened by people who want to take those positions of power away, not just from them specifically, but who want to, who want to distribute the power evenly against the individuals. I think as well, for a lot of people, it probably was the first time they'd seen three parties in a debate, and that makes us the easy target for the other two, particularly when there's so much similarity between Obama and Romney. Uh, I think, like, just, you know, the, the structure was, and the questions were created by uh, a liberal uh, and I think the way the questions, you know, what, what, what questions were asked, you know, was definitely not the questions that libertarians really, you know, are, I mean, the economics, yeah, we're really passionate about, but the wars, the drug war, you know, we had to introduce that ourselves, you know, and relate some of these topics to those because they know both, both sides are, are bad on these issues and that, that needs to be brought up. Um, okay, and then finally, uh, how would you guys think about your performance today? Uh, the feedback I always get from my speech class is I need to speak louder and slower, and that's something I need to work on. Um, there were probably, I would have liked to have gotten a bit deeper into social issues, but the direction that it went was led by the two parties, and all they wanted to talk about was women's issues, so there was that. I tried to introduce um, a, more, a, a broader variety of civil libertarian issues. Like, Laura is amazing. Uh, I, uh, you know, I was sick yesterday and just didn't think I cut it. All right, all right. I had to make some excuses. Uh, and, 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 and what did you learn from that um, mistake, though? You know, uh, just, just you know, think a little bit more before before I, I say something. Um, you know, I, I kind of go with the flow, and sometimes that helps me, sometimes that hinders me a lot. So I think definitely my closing statement, um, I, I, I thought I did pretty good there. And, uh, you know, I think I, I think I hit on the points and represented libertarianism. It's just that when, when the uh, rebuttal came around, I had that one. All right. Yeah. And finally, um, what would you say to people who are going to be doing events like this on other campuses and what, what they should do to prepare? Read your policy. Read your party's policy or read, read up on your ideology because every ideology has got its weak points, every policy has got its weak points. And sometimes all you need to swing a vote is to draw those out so people see them. Um, make sure you're appealing to the audience. Um, I try to stick to moral arguments with my, with my arguments and I think moral arguments resonate better with uh, the audience. All right. Um, is there anything you would have liked to see happen in this debate that didn't? Discussions of foreign policy. Um, America's the number, world su number one world superpower, number one military and economic power. We have a saying in other parts of the world, you've probably heard it here, that when America sneezes, the world catches a cold. What America does affects so, so many people and so many people in other countries that it's really important to understand the impact of American foreign policy, particularly when we're engaged in very many expensive and expensive wars with massive casualties. All right. I would have liked to see uh, direct arguing, like being able to argue with my opponent directly um, I, I I excel better at that and challenging their premises not not times I just want to go at them all right Laura and David young hey, Americans for Liberty. Young Americans for Liberty superstars thank you for your service today thank you Bye.